Yeah, because we're going to get hot again. Uh, yeah, if it works, we can find one that's working. But uh, right now, we are cooling down a little bit. And this is a nice reprieve from what has been, of course, heat and humidity. I mean, we got in the mid-90s again yesterday. Look at this. Extensive low cloud cover. And you can even see a little moisture on the lens of our uh, camera downtown the, from the big blue building. If we just take a little tour around here, all this really light green stuff here. This is a little bit in the way of some spotty showers, some sprinkles. You've got them all around, kind of uniform elevation, picking up on the uh, radar beam there via the Max Track Live. And the map in motion shows the tail end of the more uniform line of showers that went through last night, and even that didn't amount to much. So we're left with a lot of low cloud cover. It's going to be a blustery day as stronger winds wrap around the base of that departing low. And of course, we've got that lingering cloud cover and those occasional showers and sprinkles. So a bit of a change up for us and a, a nice change of pace. Just not going to be a great day. Now the clouds will break. We'll see more sunshine tomorrow. Partly sunny skies can't rule out isolated showers into the afternoon tomorrow. Here's a hint of it moving through into the afternoon and evening Thursday. But the main force for the weekend will be this big blue H, this high building in. And that means more hot and steamy weather just around the corner. The rainfall that came through did not help. It was the heaviest to the northwest as expected. Uh, Use the river as the dividing line there. Uh, we had zip at the Mesonet site in southern Fayette County. And a lot of folks were on the lower end, a couple tenths of an inch if you were lucky. So. I expect to see this drought status expand when we get our Thursday update. Right now, 32% of the Commonwealth abnormally dry. And our precipitation chances are pretty much zip going into the weekend into next week. So that little bit that we got yesterday was about it for a while. This shows the upper level wind flow. You've got that big dominant heat ridge back to the west where they are just baking. Well, uh, much of the U.S. is going to be overspread by upper level ridging, which means we are all going to get hot. Some, of course, hotter than others. Today, though, with this wind and this cloud cover, uh, we are just going to be on the blustery and slightly cooler side, probably only going to hit the low 80s. Our winds right now are sustained at anywhere from around 20 to 30 miles per hour and gusting. Look at that. Just had a 40 mile per hour gust in Lexington. The wind's popping this morning, so watch out when you're driving around. But look at the difference in the temperature, 67 in E-Town, 79 in Pikeville. And the, the um, dew points are coming down a little bit. It's not quite as rapidly, but we will be a little bit less muggy later on today. Definitely cooler, low 80s. Our normal high is 87, which will hit tomorrow. And then here comes the hot stuff. We'll get into another extended dry and hot run. Dry from a precipitation standpoint, not a humidity standpoint. It's going to be muggy. But just another hot and steamy summery weekend on the way. Good for the pool, good for the lake, but not good for much else. 81 today, gusty cooler. Watch for a few lingering showers out there, sprinkles, especially early on. But we could see a few even hanging on into the afternoon. Partly cloudy, mid 60s overnight. Tomorrow, upper 80s. And then, yeah, here comes the weekend. Here comes the heat. 90 Friday, low to mid 90s over the weekend. Next chance for showers and storms way out there at the end of the eight day. It's not looking great right now, but at least it's something. And yeah, we've got highs consistently low to mid 90s. So, yeah, more hot stuff on the way day after day.